happy Friday. So I was I was gonna go to work early like I have been doing this whole week, but if you look outside, it is currently just coming down. It's just pouring, so I'm gonna have to wait for a ride into work this morning because it doesn't look like uh, walking or biking is gonna make much sense. Gotta ride in. It's 7 a.m., so I'm gonna get some work done. Daily breakfast update, we got some uh, fruit salad, some breakfast sandwiches. Okay, so this morning I am in a meeting room because I am uh, doing an interview with Canadian Running for their podcast, but check out, check out the art in this meeting room. That's sick! Look at that. <laughs> I want one for my dorm room, that would be sick. Alright, interview for the running magazine is done. That went pretty well, yeah. Uh, we talked about Harvard, about running in general, kind of my future goals. You will see that on next Friday. I think they said it's going to be posted, so a week from today. Stay tuned for that. So the other day, I, well, okay, so for a while now I've wanted to have just like plain white and plain black shoes. I don't know why, I just really like the simplicity. So the other day, I pulled the trigger and I, and I ordered some shoes off Foot Locker and uh, the white ones arrived yesterday, the black ones arrived today, but I figured I'd put them in today's vlog. So um, the white ones are just Adidas tubular knits. They're pretty nice. I actually wore them today at work. They're really comfortable. And then the black ones just arrived. They're just Roshis. They're just all black Roshis. Just because, why not, right? Alright, uh, going for a run. Probably 8 to 10k, 40 minutes easy. Uh, I will put the stats up here, right here. And you will see how far I've run when I check back in. Run is done. Solid little 10k. I think at around a, a 420 something ish pace. Just under 44 minutes. So felt good. Uh, it was a cool run actually. I ran into my buddy Eric Gemne. Uh, we worked together for two years, I think. Uh, really awesome guy. He was off in California. Now he's doing research back in Waterloo. Super cool, dude. The the absolute craziest thing about summer is uh, the fact that like right now it is like just nine nine ten ish at night, and it's still very bright out. Like there's a sunset going on. It's pretty cool. So I, I have this idea. So one of the one of the things that I've been thinking about a lot recently is with this vlog is is how do I make it my own, right? So yesterday I made a video about this a little while ago about how it's it's easy to go and, and copy Casey Neistat or to copy Yes Theory even or or to copy anybody and that's really not the purpose of this all, right? The purpose is to develop my own style, to develop my own my own video making abilities and and so it got me thinking and I realized so what's unique about me that I could apply to these videos well running is one thing but a lot of people run but I think a cool thing that I want to start trying to do is you know all that b-roll footage that I that I tend to do like the time lapses in between shots so the purpose of that is to kind of indicate the passing of time or uh, sometimes there'll be travel shots to indicate the the change in distance what I think would be really cool is if I started to replace that with some computer generated footage. I don't by any means have this idea fully fleshed out, but I just think it would be really cool because I've, I've written programs in the past that have done similar things before where you where it generates a video um, algorithmically and it, it's kind of neat and I, I just feel like this could be a kind of cool thing to do. I, I'm going to try it out. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sign the vlog off there. My room is just a mess. Wow, okay, uh, try and ignore all the mess in these shots. Um, 
Tomorrow I am back to work it for the first time in a couple of weeks. I'm super pumped. I hope it goes well. So stay tuned for that.